Hey Aquarius, welcome to your spring 2022 reading. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Good Tarot because I love the nice spring colors of it. I'm also going to give you a crystal um, that will help you through this spring. And I'm also going to give you a money and the law of attraction mantra uh, to attract more money into your life. All right. Um, so I've, I've shuffled these extensively um, off camera because they're so clunky. You don't need to watch me uh, shuffle them. I just shuffle them a little bit uh, so you can see that this reading is for you. This isn't contrived. And as uh, you see the cards as the exact same time that I see the cards. All right. They are ready. Okay, so I draw 13 cards because there's 13 weeks in each season. Two of Earth, how peculiar is that? The um, Capricorn got that the exact same first card as well. Uh, King of Air, this is you, Aquarius. Ace of Air, reversed. Chariot, reversed. I don't know how many people got the Chariot reversed in this reading. I think there's going to be a lot of stagnation. Um can't move. I don't know what that's all about. Um, high Priestess reversed. Secrets are going to come out, Aquarius. I don't know if you want them to or not, or you're going to learn them about other people. Um, six of Earth reversed. Someone's going to be treating you unfairly. Uh, star, there's a, there's your card. There you are. You're, uh, you've shown up. And Page of Air. We're looking at a message here. A uh, nine of air. Yeah, you're going, there's going to be some kind of secret that is uh, 10 of water reversed. Going to upset some things. Ace of water. That's good. No tears. Uh, three of water. And your 13th card is three of fire. All right. So you've showed up twice here. Um, uh, with the king of air is mask is the masculine, um, Aquarian, uh, could be the, a male Aquarian in your life. Um, could be you, if you have a lot of masculine tendencies or masculine energy. Um, uh, but we start off here with, you've got a big decision to be making. Um, this is with earthly elements in your life. So your home, for example, um, not necessarily your job, but the money you make at your job, your money, investments, um, what to do with your money. You're going to be, um, you know, juggling budgets, juggling this and that. You're going to have to make a decision about that. And who better to turn to than a fellow um, air sign, an Aquarian, um, a Gemini, a Libra, uh, they have really good advice for you. They will, they're very truthful and intelligent, just as you are. And if you are male, this is you. So this is trust your own instinct. Trust your own instinct. Because you've got also the ace of air, which is the uh, reversed. So the ace of air upright is like go like here's some information go go run with it um you the reason why you can't make a decision and you can't move forward is because you've been getting some wrong information um also some wrong thoughts about things you're not trusting you're not trusting. And so it's it's keeping you absolutely static. Now, this is during the um, airy season. So March 20th until um, April 20th-ish. Um, so the chariot upright is, okay, let's get moving and move into your future. But reversed is, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back. Um, go back, go back. We're stuck. Um you're, you've got some false information about something. It's not from from this guy, because this is your ally. Um, somebody's giving you false information, and he might point that out to you. 
he might point that out. Again, that might be you if you have a lot of uh, strong masculine tendencies. If you're female, um, if you're male, this is you. This would be go with your gut. Go with your, if your gut is telling you something is wrong here um, and you don't feel like moving forward, you don't feel like moving a choice because you feel like you don't have all the information, you're right. Or if your mentor tells you, I don't like this, uh, it's not, something's fishy here, they're right. So trust that. So that will come up for you in airy season. Uh, so be careful with that. If you have to make any kind of choice, um, ask what your, your masculine energy would do. Perfect. All right. I, here comes Taurus season. I know Taurus season can be a little bit difficult for my Aquarian friends um, because it is a square to you. Um, Taurus season is actually going to bring out a secret. Um, could be near the full moon in Taurus season. Um, I don't know if it's a secret about you or a secret about somebody else, but it will seem unfair. It will definitely seem unfair. Um, or you'll hear a secret about somebody and it's like, why do they get it? Why, why do they get all the good stuff? You know, I work so hard and I barely get pennies and this person, they cheat on their taxes and never get caught. It just doesn't seem fair. Um, that's why I think it's about somebody else and not about you. Um, but it will create, um, some, a lot of stress in your life will create a lot of stress in your fight in your life. Another reason I don't think the secret is about you is because you've, here you are upright, strong, um, the star, um, you, and you're, and you've got your back turned to that and you're looking forward. Um, plus the page of air, um, is going to, um, keep you sharp. It's going to have, um, these are like news articles, uh, emails, anything you see online, air messages or things that come through the air. So text messages, uh, stuff like that. And they're actually going to kind of, that's going to kind of make you feel better. Uh, but you are good and strong here. So that's why I don't think it's about you. I think it's about, you're going to hear secrets about somebody else. Uh, you might even hear secrets about somebody else of how they've cheated you um, out of money. Um, and you're going to just, you're, you're, I don't think you're going to make a terrible fuss out of it. I think you're going to turn your back to it. And um, eventually you'll see something online about it or uh, find out some kind of truth about it. Like I said, through text message, through any kind of message, through the internet, because that's, that's air. Um, you know, it won't be a letter that you get in the mail or, you know, somebody might even tell you to your face, talk it so that, that that's the voice coming out. Um, but you're, you're definitely going to hear, don't worry, Aquarius, other people know the truth. Other people know the truth. This secret will come out and um, I'm going to almost give you a warning. Take the high road here, be the Aquarian that you can be um, and turn your back to it because somebody else will, will spill that truth. Let them be the messenger of that truth. You don't have to be. And then you can just sit back and smirk because you knew it all along. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's happening in, in Gemini season for you. And this is a sister season for you, so this should be a good season. Now, uh, this is May 19th, 20th to June 20, 21st-ish. Um, again, every year it changes, so you'll have to look it up. But a day or two, either way, doesn't really matter to the universe. Um so we have the nine of air, which is the um, nine of swords in the traditional tarot. And this is not being able to speak your truth, nightmares, stress, anxiety. Um, like lots of things around and around and distracting you. You can't spread your wings and fly away because you're, these things are in your way. Um, so you're going to start it off that way. I, it, I don't think it's about this secret that's being, I think it's something to do with your family. 
I think you're going to have some family um, drama in in Gemini season, um, right? Because the Buddha smiling this way upside down makes a frown. Um, and this is the family, the happy family card. And I think um, your family is going to create some stress for you. Um, but just at the beginning of Gemini season, after, uh, so give it, uh, give it a couple of weeks. So let's say by June 10th ish. Now we have your cup runneth over. Um, and this is just handed from the universe going now, now dear, um, here's a pearl. <laughs> no, it's like a cup of peace. Um, your emotions are stable. Your cup runs over. You have a lot of gratitude. Um, you have a lot of peace. Um, this is when your emotions are, are running on all four cylinders, but in a good way. Um, and also with this, um, usually this is like the three of water is the three of cups. So it's like joyful celebration, whatever, but sometimes it can mean a third party in a love situation and it's reversed here. I think after all this drama, and you finally are at peace, I think you're going to want to be by yourself a little bit. I don't think you're going to want to celebrate this peace. I think you're going to um, want to be by yourself. It'll be a quiet celebration, um, which I find a lot of Aquarians are. They aren't loud that way about a lot of emotional stuff like that anyways. They keep a lot of that to themselves. Um, and you'll be over it, but it won't feel like anything worth celebrating. It'll be more like I made it. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's not like you're, it's not like the, um, um, you know, like, oh, let's go out and party and I feel better. No, it's not gonna be like that at all. It's gonna be, ah, oh, I want to take a deep breath and go, okay, I did it. And good enough, good enough. So your 13th card is the three of fire. And this is actually, this is your move. Look at this is the only um, pink card in, in the whole reading. This is the actual moving on. This is you've made plans. This is your ship coming in. Um, this is um, all the struggles that you had will feel worth it by the end of spring. You're going to realize that now I can move forward. Now I can, I, I, I've done all I can. I've laid out all my plans and now I can just enjoy moving forward and my ship is coming in. My plans are all coming together. Um, excellent way to end the spring. If you ask me, be right. Because you think of what, do, what do you do in spring? You plant seeds, you plant seeds, you plant seeds, and then you wait in summer for those seeds to grow. That really sums up what this reading is for you, Aquarius. So let's see what crystal will guide you through that. What crystal is going to guide my Aquarians through spring? Guide them, give them a good vibe, protect them. What crystal is good for my Aquarians this spring? Orange sapphire. Sassy. Orange sapphire. Wow. Really kapow. Um, I don't know where you would be able to find an orange sapphire to tell you the truth. And I don't know how expensive that would be because I don't want you to spend a lot of money on it. Um, I mean, I don't even know anybody who has an orange sapphire, to be honest. Uh, check with a new age store or go online and see and see your favorite crystal store and see if they have an orange sapphire. Um, if they don't, find an orange sapphire picture on the internet and download it and keep it somewhere where you can uh, see it a lot. It might be you have more to do with the orange um, color than, um, and then just get a chip of a regular sapphire. I know that sounds expensive, but you can find um, raw uh, chips of sapphire for for a dollar or two. Um, they're really not that expensive. Um, so anyways, I hope you can find that. Of course, it's a unique crystal for my unique Aquarians. Um, all right. Oh, you know what? This is crazy. Oh, no. Oh, 
It's not crazy. It's my mind. <laughs> I thought I forgot the 13th card, but it's right there in front of me. Um, okay, so what is a law of attraction mantra for my Aquarians? I don't edit my videos, so then you can see um, I haven't changed anything. This reading is pure and clear. If this reading didn't resonate with you, check your rising and your moons and or your moon sign. So let's see. What mantra, law of attraction for abundance mantra, do we have for our Aquarian friends? Cards are ready. Oh, other uh, signs got this as well. I can pivot from feeling bad to feeling good. As you look for better feeling way to approach whatever you are giving your attention to, as you continue to ask yourself from your ever-changing vantage point, what is it that I do want? Eventually, you will be standing in a very pleasing place, for you cannot continually ask yourself what it is you do want without your point of attraction beginning to pivot in that direction. The process will be gradual, but your continued application of the process will yield wonderful results in only a few days. So there we go. That would be that would be going back to um, the your Gemini season here, where you're having some family drama. Well, if you keep focusing on it, it'll never go away. Focus on what you do want, on what emotions you do want. Oh, that's actually really good for you, and it's even like that purple. And there's some more orange for you. All right, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one. <laughs>